Right now, private equity is playing the QE wait and see game. Lately, public markets have been feeling a case of the jitters leading up to today's Fed meeting that could lead to the tapering of the central bank's bond purchasing. These fears have also impacted the debt markets too. Private equity has been feeling the pain already. Yankee Candle, the scented candle retailer owned by private equity firm Madison Dearborn, just gave up hopes of raising $1.4 billion via a term loan and bond issue. The sponsor, in turn, is missing out on a mega dividend. Yankee Candle isn't the only one to see its hopes flicker. Another Madison Dearborn portfolio company, Asherion, gave up after pursuing $850 million to refinance debt due four years from now, DebtWire was first to report. All to it, at least 10 loans that were being shopped have been yanked from the market so far this month, and bigger names could feel the pinch next. Already, according to a New York Post report, last week, Carl Icahn's pursuit of financing to buy Dell has run into a brick wall and could cause his bid to completely wash out. Perhaps his difficulty in securing debt pushed Icahn to simply hope for an LBO at 14 bucks a share instead. How the Federal Reserve acts and when will have a tremendous impact on the private equity deal scene. While sources tell the deal they expect debt to get pricier once the central bank scales back bond buying, it remains to be seen just how scarce more expensive financing will become. Once the Fed acts, the markets can act as well. And if Fed Chair Ben Bernanke says that the bond buying program will continue unfettered through the third quarter, we can probably expect more billion dollar LBOs to come through the pipeline. I'm John Marino, and that's The Deal.